In this video, we're going to learn more about the Photo to Stitches tool that's part of our FTCU update for summer 2020. And so to get started, I'll begin a new empty workspace and select my tool here, Photo to Stitches. And this time what I thought I would do, we're going to select this cute little puppy dog. And in the last video, we looked at how to create your own custom mask or how to interact with the size of the embroidery design. And notice that this little puppy is going to be about the width of 6 inches, 6.4 inches. And if you wished it was bigger, maybe 10 or 12 inches, just type whatever size that you want and that will update so that when you say next, the software generates the appropriate amount of stitches for the size that you've selected. And so now we're at this stage number two, which is where you can affect the stitching quality and other settings to do with the stitching. And so first of all, you do have a 3D preview that shows both on and off. You have the maximum number of threads. And so um, it's by default set to come up at 32. But if you would like to increase that number, you can go all the way up to and as many as 60 different threads. Um, as well as you could certainly reduce it down to any number that you want. And so you may not want to sew in a embroidery design that has 60 different color stops, and that's fine. If you would rather do 12, then go ahead and change this down to 12. And of course, it just has less sort of different shades and gradients of the colors of your design. Um, the next thing you might want to learn about is here the match to thread chart. And so I've got it obviously defaulted to Floriani polyester because I know you guys are all collecting the Floriani polyester thread. With that said, if you were also collecting or maybe you bought the Floriani color spectrum thread box and you just wanted to see what would the design look like if you only used threads that were from the color spectrum box or if you only use so now 12 from the color spectrum box doesn't give as nice of results as you got, you know, 12 from the Floriani Poly box because of the number of shades that are more available in that color palette. And if you use other thread brands, you can choose from any popular thread brand that you want to to select your design. And so um, the next effect or the next option is called the effect. And essentially, I've got it set right now to do a full color photograph. But you also have the ability to do a grayscale a sepia or a mono. And so if I choose, for example, grayscale, it's going to now show us the design converted into the beautiful sort of 12 different shades of gray from the Floriani polyester chart. And I personally have sewn up to 24 shades of gray. Uh, we have quite, an ele uh, quite a selection of gray colors in the Floriani polyester line. And so uh, I never counted them. There might even be 50 shades of gray. Okay, that's a bad joke, but um, there literally may be that many shades um, probably enough to fill a 30 box anyway um, grayscale you've also got the sepia and so you get the idea that this is going to convert your color your photograph into a different kind of color spectrum altogether um, obviously color photographs are kind of fun to play with uh, the next option here is called the type of stitches and by diff by default it comes up with our cool new curvilinear stitch style but for that matter, we could click on this and change to the crossover style. And with the crossover style, you get a different resulting sort of stitch pattern. So there's really two patterns to choose from. One is curvilinear and one is crossover. Um, the other th options that you have in the program are, for example, the stitch length and the quality. Um, quality goes away when you use the crossover because we've kind of figured out the best uh, quality settings and predetermined them. But with curvilinear, you can affect the number of stitches in your design by having sort of levels of one, two, and three levels of quality. And so the higher the number, kind of the higher the stitch count that and results, if you will. Um, yeah, and of course you can adjust the stitch length. So uh, the longer the stitch, the less number of stitches in your design. However, uh, the less defined your details are. And so the shorter your stitches, the more the stitch count in your design and the more definition in those lines. Um, but I have found that with a setting of three and a stitch length of 3.5, um, I get really amazing results. If you want to lighten the stitch count a little bit, just take this down to two or down to one and you'll still get amazing results with just not quite as many um, 
as much detail or sorry I guess really the correct word would be density right so the higher the number the more the number of stitches therefore the more the density and one kind of last thing about this little window and that is you do have the ability to insert a border that can be either no border a steel stitch border or an applique border and so if you choose steel stitch then what happens is your resulting embroidery design has a nice finished border and you can obviously adjust the width right here and when you say finish now your design is created and is on your screen and ready to be embroidered and we're just sure that you're going to love the new photo to stitches tool and we just hope 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 that you'll share some of your photographs with us so if you create something really cool with photos to stitches go ahead and post it on instagram or facebook and tag us or just send us an email at floriani we would love to hear from you and see what you're creating and so we hope you enjoy our new tool the newest one in the FTCU summer 2020 update is called Photo to Stitches.